What's up guys? Back again with another mat video, this time the True Strike mat. Uh, the True Strike mat is widely known and uh, I was very intrigued mainly by the gel section, which is the hitting section of the True Strike mat. Um, never heard of a golf mat that uses gel and it's supposed to simulate uh, taking a real divot, which uh, they all are supposed to do but I wanted to see how the gel actually worked. So very excited to get this one. Um, and I'm gonna tell you right now, personally for me, it was a big letdown and I'm gonna go over why uh, I was disappointed with it. Um, so getting started, um, ships together all in a single box, which was kind of cool. Every section of it, it was in its own box within the main box. It's a very nice uh, way to ship. And of course, like I said, it comes in sections. So there's one, two, three, four sections on this single hitting mat. Plus you've got this outside edge trim piece plus the ball tray. All of those were in their own boxes. Um, so you unbox each one of those. Um, and uh, the way that they fit together is they've got basically uh, teeth that come out on both sides of each section and uh, you interlock them together at an angle and then drop them down flat and then they stay locked. Um, you know, not a, not a bad idea for how to do it. Um, by the time I was done doing it all, I honestly was a little bit annoyed. Um, they sometimes don't go together just right uh, and it took me a little while to kind of get the hang of getting them to interlock um, at the, you know, it, it was just a little bit annoying. Now. Overall, what, it took me like 20 minutes, no big deal. But, um, you know, these outside pieces, this edge trim and the ball tray, I think because they're on the outside and they don't have something interlocking on both sides of them, they also provided screws to screw them in, um, which at this point, you know, I was kind of like, now I got to screw things in with these tiny little screws. I didn't end up doing that at all. They are staying just fine. Um, but I just think the, the complexity of it all compared to a bunch of the other mats that I've tested, which are like one piece, three pieces max, and there's really no assembly whatsoever, um, for the most part. I just found it a, a little bit annoying actually. So yeah, other than that, as far as the quality, um, as you'll see, you know, it, it was a lot of plastic. Um, a lot of plastic. Each of these sections is mainly plastic with turf attached to the top. Um, you know, plastic is extremely durable, so that's a plus. Um, but we'll talk about, you know, why I didn't like the plastic a little bit later as well. Um, so the main thing was this gel section. That's what really matters most. And again, mainly plastic. Um, it had clips that basically sandwich a bag of gel um, between the plastic and the turf on top. First thought whenever I tested it out or at least pressed it with my fingers was I, I really didn't feel anything that felt like gel. Um, I was expecting soft and squishy. I really felt nothing but the turf. The gel section as they call it, definitely feels like more of a shorter turf, more of a putting turf I would say. Um, and really doesn't feel like plastic doesn't feel like foam. I mean, I'm sorry, it doesn't feel like gel. It kind of feels mm, padded like foam. A little bit confused, but more on that um, in a little bit. The gel section, uh, according to the True Strike website, um, should last approximately 55,000 shots with an iron. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. Seems like a lot. As far as tees, they did, the mat did come with a rubber tee holder and a, actually two bags of tees, long and short tees. Um, and this rubber tee holder, um, you would slide underneath the range section, which, uh, you know, I call it a stance section. That's the part you stand on. Um, there are some pre-cut holes there for tees in each one of the uh, stance sections that you can pop out the, the turf, slide this underneath, and then you can insert one of these tees or a regular tee into the tee holder. You know, I was a little bit confused at first with how that was supposed to work. As I was unboxing those sections, 
I noticed that there were what looked like little gouges on the sides of the turf. And uh, at first I thought it was damaged, but then I realized they were all, they all had it and they were all in the same place and that that, that was for the T holders. So they're all there. Um, you just have to pick the one where you want the T to go, take that out, the, the pre-cut little hole and slide this underneath. And that's how it works. That's pretty much how it goes together. So what did it actually feel like to hit from it? Um, like I said, the gel section, I couldn't feel anything squishy when I pressed it with it at my fingers, stepped on a little bit, didn't feel much. Um, actually hitting shots, I can say, didn't feel much. Um, you know, it really, if I'm being honest, it, it just feels like uh, hitting a golf ball off of a plastic mat. Um, I would not describe that as a gel feeling at all. Um, it honestly feels like hitting off a plastic panel. Um, of course, with turf on it and all that, not having any feeling of any, any pain or anything that would cause any pain or injury. Um, you know, club head goes right through the ball, nothing catching it or feeling grabby or anything like that. You know, I, I could maybe feel a little bit uh, of give whenever I'm, you know, hitting a pitching wedge or whatnot, but compared to a lot of the other mats, uh, you know, that are much softer and you can really hit down on it and not feel um, like you're hitting anything hard for the most part. Um, you know, I, I didn't get that from this. It was uh, definitely 100% on the harder side of the mats that I have tried, um, which was very surprising to me. Um, you know, whenever I hit a shot on it, honestly, it even sounds like I'm just hitting, uh, you know, down on, on some plastic. Um, I have to say that that was my, my main drive for wanting to try this out was that I, I felt like I was missing something. Um, I hadn't, like I said, not heard of anything of golf mat, uh, with a gel. And so I was like, wow, that must feel great. Um, honestly. Not at all. I mean, it felt fine. I didn't feel like I was going to injure myself or anything like that. So that was pretty disappointing. So if I haven't lost you yet, <laughs> how does this map fit within the golf simulator? Um, the main thing is that it's modular. Each of these pieces are, you know, basically interchangeable. You can change the size by adding more pieces or, or whatnot. Um, I guess my question for that is, why would you need it to be? The only reason I can think that you might want that is maybe if you move and you've got more space and you wanna go from a, like a single hitting mat to a center hitting mat, you can just add uh, another piece on the far side. Okay. Um, I, I can't really figure out for personal use why that would matter. So um, the next part, you can obviously see the outside trim is this big rounded piece which personally to me, I do not like the look of. I really like much square uh, edges that are cleaner looking. Um, I just think that that personally looks better to me. The other issue with that is that if you're trying to line up your flooring with turf that lines up with your turf of your true strike mat, um, you know, you've got this big edge that you're gonna, gonna have to, I guess, have a flap of turf that flaps over this round piece um, because it's not a straight up and down edge. So, you know, I've seen a few pictures online of people that have done that and made it work, but um, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit more to it than just lining up your flooring and the turf on top. Uh, the mat height is just under two and a half inches. So also you'd have to build your flooring up a little bit higher than um, just like a one inch material. So, <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of issues, if, if that matters to you, um, with getting your flooring to match up. Um, if it doesn't, then you know, no problem. Now, the biggest issue that I had was with this size that I purchased. It was the single sized hitting mat, and I did not pay attention to the dimensions whenever I ordered it. Um, I've ordered a bunch of mats. All of them have been single hitting because in my space, I don't have space for a center hitting mat, nor do I have the need. So I just ordered the single hitting mat. The dimensions are 51 inches by 75 inches, just so you know. 
I didn't measure it. That's straight from the True Strike website. Um, so as you can see, I've got the Foresight GC Quad here, and I've got it basically all the way to the back edge of the turf. Um, and whenever I put the ball here in the middle, uh, I still have plenty of room over here off of the gel section that I could hit from with my launch monitor, but I don't get to use it. I'm very, in my opinion, I feel, you know, not too close as long as I'm hitting in the center of the mat, but definitely closer than I need to be with this launch monitor. Um, I think that you would have the same issue with the Bushnell Launch Pro, the Foresight GC3. Uh, not sure about the SkyTrack. Point is, you're gonna be a little bit cramped with the launch monitor sitting to the side. Um, the bigger problem is that if you have a launch monitor that sits on the side like that, you absolutely cannot leave it there and hit driver, okay? So my heels are basically hanging off the back edge of the mat. If I take my normal stance, that puts <clears throat> the driver off of the gel section and the T is actually right here. That's, that's where the T would go if I had it in. And uh, clearly, you know, the launch monitor cannot be there. It won't read it that close. What that means is you have to have your launch monitor off of the hitting mat, or you have to buy another one of these gel sections to make it larger. Um, that to me was a huge bummer. Um, I felt like for the price, <clears throat> I should be able to have a large enough hitting mat that I'm not feeling cramped, and uh, I definitely feel cramped on the mat. Another disappointment for me personally, um, I mentioned the price. This single sized hitting mat was $968, okay? So obviously they have a bunch of different sizes that are gonna range in price. $968 um, is definitely on the high side as far as mat goes, it's not the highest. Um, but comparing to one of my absolute favorites was the Sig Pro Softy in the 4x7 single hitting mat size. And the price on that was $899 compared to $968. Plus, I like the feel of the Sig Pro Softy way more. Um, also, even comparing to like the Hot Shot mat from Carl's with the Divot Hitting Strip, um, you know, I feel like you're getting a better solution than uh, all of this for a higher price. Um, so final thoughts, um, you know, I really hate to do a negative review. Um, I, I don't, <laughs> kind of don't want to do it at all, but uh, I just feel like I have to give you my personal opinion, which this was, this was a big um, disappointment for me. It's modular, but I don't know why you would need that. I think it's rare that you would need that. So it just becomes kind of uh, a bunch of, you know, plastic pieces that are stuck together and, I, and for no reason to me. Um, it's kind of annoying to, to put together and take apart. Not that you will that often. Um, personally, I don't like the look of it. I don't really like having the big logos. I don't like the round trim. Um, maybe you do, maybe that's a plus for you. I don't, I don't know, but just personally not into that look. Um, and the gel section, which was you know, maybe I could look past everything else if it was like the best feeling mat to hit from. But, uh, you know, it was to me absolutely nothing special at all. I wasn't missing anything, you know, which is kind of how I felt before. I was like, oh, gel. Um, that's pretty different. I got to try that, but not missing anything. Now, was it bad if you have this mat? Should you get rid of it and get something else? No, I don't think so. Um, it's not that it's bad. I don't think it's the greatest to, to hit from, but it's not the worst. Um, and it's not, it's not terrible. So I think if you have it, you know, it is what it is, but just from the context of having tried a bunch of other stuff at, for less money or similar money, um, I think there's a lot better solutions out there that I personally liked a whole lot more. So um, guys, if you love the True Strike mat, yeah, leave your comment in the, in the comment section as to why, maybe I missed something. Um, or maybe I'm just uh, not, the, not the majority on this one, but uh, you know, that's just how I feel. So guys, I've got one more uh, hitting mat video to release. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'll be back with another one soon. Appreciate it. See you next time.